Uh, David, sorry, obvious question. How are you feeling right now? Congratulations. Um, can you sum it up? Um, not really. It's been a strange 120 minutes for me personally. I just, I've been told there it's probably two minutes from coming off. I think uh, the game is getting away from me a little bit and just to uh, have a chance in the box to get the first to, to sort of bring us back into the game. And I thought, in fairness, from, from there on, we were excellent. We, we probably controlled it where <clears throat> Rovers maybe had a, a bit better of it in the first half, I thought, from... From, uh, Hello, from that goal on, we played really, really well and, and deservedly went in front. And um, Achilles' heel has probably been set pieces, so as you can see from there, was was disappointing. But I thought we just, you know, finished the game really strong. And personally, just absolutely delighted. I can't believe it. And um, it's been a tough season for us, but it's a, a, an epic way to finish. I think. Was that? Do um, you say they're a tough season? Maybe the. the the team, the squad, the, the club have been criticised at various times this season. Was that a, was that a motivation? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, the team is obviously. Well, I wasn't here last year, but you know, we're league winners last year and nearly treble winners, and obviously suffered the disappointment of the cup. For it's happened to me in the past where I've lost cup finals. It's a very very hard thing to deal with <clears throat> in the off season. So we're coming here today, you know, and we we lost the league and. I think that's that little bit of extra motivation. As you said, there's been a lot of criticism from, from all angles. Some of it maybe deserves, some of it not. And um, It was about just putting in another big performance similar to, to what we did against Bohemians in the, in the quarterfinal. And I think we showed that, particularly in the second half and an extra time. Thanks. Okay, next question, by the way. Chris Shields has walked in, so he's also available for questioning. Uh, next question, please. Everyone's gone offline. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, hi, Chris. It's on here. What, uh, what was this like after the frustration of having to sit in the stand and watch it last year for you to get out there and be involved again? Oh, it's huge. It's it, honestly, God, you can ask me why. It's been on my mind for near on 13 months now. You know, it took a massive toll on my off season last year. Like me, family could see that it, just, it hit me really hard. Like people would say, you've you played in five. You've played. You've played in five cup finals. Whatever. Everything that comes to this day, it's huge. Your family's here. I said to Tony downstairs, it was hard last year walking out during the national anthem, seeing my mother and my wife in tears that I'm just walking out and not playing, and then pacing around the, the ground for basically the day. So to come out and to captain the team, the win is a huge honour, probably the, the greatest honour of my career. So it's just, it's great how things have come full circle for me. Yeah. And what, what was the game like to play in? Because it did seem to ebb and flow, and there was times when. It looked like it could get away with you at times when it could have got away from Rovers as well. It was actually it was actually an enjoyable game to play in, you know. In many in many years of fans been packed into here and had to watch stinkers. <laughs> so to be involved in an entertaining final, it was a good game to be involved in. Look, they're league champions and rightly so. So it was up to us as reigning champions from last year to show look we're not we're not finished as a club, but we're not finished as a group of players and it was like a statement of intent for us and it was a good game. We could have obviously could defend corners better, it's something we have to work on coming into the new season, but to, to, to show the attacking prowess that the man to me right here showed is, is phenomenal. Yeah, and now, I mean, I know you're under contract for next year, but it's important that, well, to keep the squad together now because you've shown you can still win trophies together? <coughs> Absolutely, for, for, a, for a group of players I've been told have had an awful year, to make Europa League group stages and the cup final win and secure European football for next year isn't too bad. Now it's up to it's up to the club to get negotiate to get contracts sorted and started soon. You know it's it's probably a shame that it's even been going on this late. So you, you players, the whole group wants you know the contract sorted because we are. You can, I think we showed today we're a tight knit group, and when you, you have a tight knit group and a good group of lads in the dressing room, that's half the battle. Yeah. All right. Cold Thanks, one. Chris. <laughs> Next question, please. Emmett Malone. Hi, can you can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, e either of you really, can I ask you how difficult it was to uh, pick yourselves up after the other night? What was a difficult night in Malta? Can I go or I go? You guys. <laughs> and, um, to be honest, it was probably one of the easiest ones to pick ourselves up from. But we are, uh, to, to be brutally honest, I think the whole squad would have known that today was, was more important than the away game in Malta. Yeah. Would have had, you know, mind of mine, our major miracle for us to get out of the group, so we would have been clutching our straws. 
we went out to the mould of trying to be as professional as we can, but look, they're a top quality side. But in the back of our minds now, we couldn't go in shouting from Oran and, you know, abusing each other because today was far more important for us. And, and David, can I ask you about it again, like physically, like go, when it went to extra time tonight, were you kind of concerned at all that, 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 that game and the trip home and everything might start to take its toll a bit? I suppose you don't have time to think about it in the game. Personally, I only played a few minutes, so, um, you know, I felt comfortable enough to, to obviously play 120 minutes. But, um, like, even me, I, I was probably close to cramping a few times in the extra time. So, for guys like who like Cammy, for example, who probably played the full match the other night and played 120 today, um, I'm sure there's several others, the centre-halves and things. So, for those guys, I think the fitness levels are through the roof that they could manage that to, to do 90 in Malta and, and come here a couple of days later and do 120 minutes. So, and to be fair, I thought we got stronger as the game went on and we were the better team later in the game where, where Rovers maybe had a better spell at the end of the first half. We really yeah. grew into the game and I think that's, um, you know, it just shows a Trojan effort from everybody to be able to, to, to match Rovers and go and beat them in 120 minutes when, when we've just come back on Thursday or Friday even. Brilliant. Thanks, lads. Cheers. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Any further questions, guys, before I bring the manager in? Karen, can I, can I or sorry, lads, can I just ask you, you know, it's been a, a tough year with Harry Taft having passed away. You, the tribute today with the the T-shirts, he's in your minds today, is he? Uh, yeah, definitely. He's always in our minds, you know, because he was that prominent around the place. He was in before everyone, and I'm pretty sure he left after everyone left because he'd be doing <coughs> any job that needed around the pitch. You know, he, he, he was there before Stephen came in, he was there when I first came into the club. And it's just, it's, it's still surreal kind of not seeing him around the place because his family are so involved. His son Shane is our videographer now and it's great for the family that he's kind of living on, you know, Harry's, uh, Harry's old job and he's doing it well. So it's great to have at least Shane's around to, you know, remember him and what he does. So it was, a, it was a great chance to give the family a tribute where it was very hard to your respects in a difficult situation when the when the funeral happened.